Hey everybody, it's Double B Billy Boutreau, aka Russell Gamer, back here on the WGS YouTube channel. And, well, the WWE Over the Limits pay per view just concluded, and I have some of the results, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on a few of these matches. They open up with R Truth and Rey Mysterio, and quite honestly, I actually thought it was going to be Rey Cry Me a River Mysterio who's going to do a, pull his own version of a Super Cena, overcome the odds, and win yet again. But However, they did not play that part. As I, I take a little small swig here. Anyway. Apparently, R-Truth won this match. I would think, basically, because they want to put more heat into his new heel gimmick for him to uh, form, so I think that would be a good way. I, you know, have him go over on Rey Mysterio, make the crowd hate him more, and and everything like that. Because I still think, you know, back, think back to that Monday Night Raw when they were having the triple threat announcement of who's going to be the new number one contender that Miz ended up uh, winning. And remember that look that R-Truth had. He had, it was like the look of constant constipation. I think they need to work on his heel looks, his heel faces and stuff like that. Because that one that night was ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we had Way Barrett taking on Ezekiel Jackson with the Intercontinental title on the line. And it went a little bit as, as expected as I thought it was. Um, and by the way, I had picked Rey Mysterio to win, so I was 0 for 1. 0 for 1. The next match, um, I guess I'll take it as a, 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 as a point for me because I did pick Ezekiel Jackson to win. Now, I did say on my radio show that, you know, I would love to see Ezekiel Jackson with the Intercontinental title. But anyway, I guess maybe they had him win by disqualification probably to put more heat on the feud he's gonna be having with the core and Wade Barrett and stuff like that so I'm still gonna count it as a point for me so I am one for two the next match was uh, Big Show and Kane taking on CM Punk and Mason Ryan the new Nexus the Nexus storyline is just absolutely went down into the dumps it went it went down in the dumps it started strong then it just it just sank really 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 sank in a hurry and anyway, I had on the on my radio show I had picked Big Show and Kane to retain and that's exactly what happened. So that's another point for me, so I'm two for three. Two for three. Um uh, Brie Belly Brie Bella and Kelly Kelly for the Divas title. Okay. One why? That's all I can say is why. Why why did this ha take place? Why did this happen? You know, Again, why is Brie Bella champion when uh, when the Bellas barely have any in-ring ability whatsoever? Kelly Kelly, ha in my opinion, has a smit. Like I said on my radio show, you guys have to check it out, blogtalkradio.com slash WGS radio. Kelly Kelly has a smidge more in-ring ability than the Bellas. Uh, so I would have figured they would have put the title on her. No, they did not do that. They kept the title on Brie Bella. I had picked Kelly Keller to win, so I don't get a point. So I am two for four. Then we had Randy Orton defending the World Heavyweight title against Christian. Um, it was an okay match. Not the desired outcome. I know a lot of people out there were hoping. I know a lot of people out there wanted Christian to get the title back. Um, to tell you what, I wouldn't mind seeing Christian again as World Heavyweight Champion because he had, has that ability. He has the ability to run with a World Heavyweight title. We see, we've seen it in TNA. But apparently, um, like I said numerous times on here and on my radio show, that you know anybody that's in the WWE that was worked in TNA has kind of been blackballed. I mean, look at the situation with Gail Kim. Look at the situation with Gail Kim. She's completely been blackballed. They're not even using her. And if they're using her, I mean, what are they going to do? Anyway, um... Randy Orton retains over Christian. Randy Orton was my pick, so I'm three out of five. We had Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole. I've already voiced my opinions on it. You guys seen my video on here. 
Uh, Michael Cole tried to weasel his way out by saying he had a doctor's excuse and his athlete's foot was too contagious. Uh, referee didn't buy it, tore it up. Jerry Lawler won in a very short match. For and At first, he um, had uh, Eve Torres come out, then we had Jim Ross come out, and Jim Ross, I think, dumped barbecue sauce all over Michael Cole, which was... Mm, I thought was really, really good. Then uh, Michael Cole scurried out of there saying that he wasn't going to kiss Michael, uh, Jerry Lawler's feet until Brett the Hitman Hart. Yes, you heard me. Brett the Hitman Hart. I'll say it again. Brett, the excellence of execution, the Hitman, Brett Hart, made his entrance and made Michael Cole, shoved him basically back into the ring, put the sharpshooter on him, and that's when he kissed Jerry Lawler's seat, which was dripping with barbecue sauce. Anytime, any chance I get to see Michael Cole get humiliated, I love. Now, with that being said, I hope the storyline and these series of matches are done. No more Jerry Lawler versus Michael Cole. Say it with me, everybody. No more Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler. For God's sakes, do something else. Main event time, it was John Cena and The Miz in an I Quit match for the WWE title. Now, I have made a lot of references, especially on my Wednesday show on on Blog Talk Radio and on the program I did tonight when I when broke down the pay-per-view and gave my predictions. It, it had the feel that it was going to be like Mankind and The Rock in 1999, the Royal Rumble for the WWF title in the I Quit match where um, essentially Mick Foley got screwed because, um, you know, earlier on Monday Night Raw, um, it was either that or Sunday Night Heat, I can't really remember, but it was during a segment where uh, M- Mankind was re- repeatedly saying, you're never going to make me say, I quit, I quit, I quit. They recorded that and they played that back during uh, when he was getting knocked around with a chair. They tried to pull that with John Cena. I just knew it was going to happen. I mean, it was blatantly obvious. Uh, but this time, instead of like playing it and pumping it over the speakers, I think, like they did in 1999, they had, Alex Riley was, was pr- predominantly involved in this match. And instead of um, having it pump all over the speakers, Alex Riley had a tape recorder in his hands and uh, he had John Cena wedged in between the security railings, and you couldn't see John Cena's mouth say it, but uh, he took he had, he had the concealed recorder in his hand and was playing back the part where John Cena said at the Monday Night Raw, you'll never make me say I quit. And at, at that point, we thought The Miz was the winner, until, of course, Alex Riley bungles it again for The Miz, and when I say that is because the referee found the tape recorder that Alex Riley was using, and he listened to it. Referee, to, uh, you know, ascertaining that this was not well. It was John Cena, but John Cena that night did not say "I quit." Um, as soon as the match got restarted, that clicked John Cena into Super Cena, and Miz tried to get away, but. At the top of the rampway is when uh, John Cena hooked on the STF. Miz said, I quit. And that is that. John Cena is still your WWE champion. And I am... Oh, I just had it here. Um, Let me uh, bring it back up here. Let me see. I got one, two, three, four, five... Six right. Six right. I was six out of eight. I was six out of eight, guys. I missed the R-Truth Rey Mysterio match. I got that wrong. And I got the Brie Bella Kelly Kelly match wrong. I was really hoping to get that one right because I'd rather see Kelly Kelly as the US champion rather than Brie Bella. But I don't know. WWE see something in them. I don't see what they're seeing. But anyway... So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little results reactions on it. Um, if you got anything anything in particular you guys liked about WWE Over the Limit tonight, post your comments in the comment section below. Um, 
So until then, I'm Double B Billy Boudreau saying I really enjoyed Michael Cole tasting Jerry Lawler's foot while he was in the sharpshooter covered in JR's barbecue sauce. Bye, guys.